a nurse, you want to be familiar with heart blocks. And in this review, I'm going to be talking about second degree type 2 heart blocks, sometimes referred to as Mobitz type 2. So the reason that this rhythm is occurring is because electrical conduction system is not sending a steady signal from the atria to the ventricles. Because whenever it normally does that, we get a P wave followed by a QRS complex. And because that signal is not steady, we're going to actually lose that QRS complex. Therefore, what you want to remember is that the PR interval does not progressively get longer and longer and then all of a sudden we drop a QRS complex. That happens in second degree type 1. In second degree type 2, that PR interval is going to stay constant, meaning it's going to stay the same throughout that rhythm. And then we will lose a QRS complex at some point. So whenever you look at the characteristics and criteria for this rhythm, you'll see the following. The atrial rate will be normal, 60 to 100 beats per minute, and the rhythm will be regular. That PR interval is going to be constant. It's going to stay the same. And the PR interval can actually be normal or it could be prolonged. Now the ventricle rate will be slower, less than 60 beats per minute. And the reason for this is because we're missing some QRS complexes sometimes, which throws off our ventricular rate. And the rhythm of the ventricular rate will be regular, again, because we're missing some complexes. Now whenever you do see the QRS complexes, sometimes they can be wide, greater than 0.12 seconds, or narrow, less than 0.12 seconds. And this depends really on where that block signal is within that conduction system. Now what are some causes of this type of heart block? Well, an active myocardial infarction can cause this, especially one that's affecting the anterior wall of the heart. Advanced coronary artery disease, followed by any type of structural damage to the electrical conduction system, and then medications that slow the AV conduction system, such as calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, digoxin, and so forth. Now what is the treatment for this type of heart block? With this type of heart block, it is considered worse than the second degree type 1 that we discussed earlier. And the reason for this is because our ventricular rate is on the slower side. And when we slow down the ventricular rate, it affects how much blood our heart can pump to our body and keep us alive. Therefore, it lowers cardiac output. And because of this, the patient is more likely to have symptoms with this rhythm. So if a patient does have symptoms that correlate with low cardiac output, like low blood pressure, weak pulse, they're getting cold, sweating, mental status changes, they need treatment. So some treatment includes temporary pacing and then insertion of a permanent pacemaker. Now sometimes patients do have this rhythm, that ventricular rate is able to maintain their cardiac output so they don't really have symptoms. So if that's the case, we would monitor them closely and consult with cardiology for further evaluation. That may include stopping certain medications to help with that AV conduction. Okay, so that wraps up this review on second degree type two heart blocks. And if you'd like to watch more videos on other type of heart blocks, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.